Hello and what's up YouTube? This is a follow-up video about the repair of my Honda CRF250L charging system. And in this video, I will show you how easily I rewind this stator instead of buying a, a replacement. As you can see in this stator, two poles has burnt out wire insulation. Now my plan is to rewind only the windings in these two affected poles. So it will be a partial rewinding of the motorcycle stator, something that I have never seen before in YouTube. After removing the stator out of the bike, the first thing I do is to wash it in detergent soap and water. I will be handling this part a lot and I don't want my hands to get very oily. Now the reason why I decide to rewind only the two affected poles is because all the other windings looks good. The burnt out windings are near the main connection terminal so they effectively shorted out the three phase output of the stator. That is the reason why this stator is not giving out a decent AC voltage output. I cut the wires leading to the affected pole windings and proceed to unwind the coils. I carefully count the number of turns and take note how many layers of windings are there in a pole. I pay attention to where the ends of the wire goes so I can replicate the connections later. I did the same to the second affected pole. Unwinding the burned out wires, count the number of turns, and take note where the end of the wires are connected. It is hard to see in the video how the stator is winded, so I will explain that later in a diagram. Here are the old wires I I unwind from the two poles of the stator and this is the new enamel wire I will use. I will also be using this insulating varnish especially made for rewinding. So basically I just manually rewind new wires to replace the old ones. I follow the original winding orientation which is counterclockwise. I wind 42 turns per pole in three layers. I tried to make my windings as neatly stacked as possible but as you can see here, it is not as good looking as the factory winding. You can definitely tell which two poles I wind myself. You can make a better job rewinding this if you clamp the stator in a vise. After rewinding the two poles, the next thing I need to do is to make the wire ends connections. <coughs> but before that, I'll explain the winding orientation of this particular stator. I make a diagram of the three phase delta configuration, stator windings, and shows here the 18 poles. I draw the cable clamp as a reference. I label the poles A, B, and C alternately. I mark the same letter designation of the poles to the actual stator. I draw the location of the three terminals for reference and label them terminals 1, 2, and 3. These two poles I shaded are the poles I rewinded. I carefully traced the wires 
and this is how it is winded. Starting from terminal 1, the first coil windings go to B poles in counterclockwise orientation. It goes around the six poles and then terminate to terminal 2. After terminal 2, the second coil windings then goes to C poles around the stator again and terminate at terminal 3. And lastly, from terminal 3, the remaining coil goes to A poles and terminate back again at terminal 1. This is a delta three-phase connection and this is how the circuit diagram is written. There are six poles per coil and a total of 18 poles corresponding to all three coils of the delta configuration. By the way, I used a gauge 19 enamel wire and about five meter length of new wires to rewind the two poles of the stator. A good understanding of the alternator winding configuration is very important in performing this task. Since I only rewind two poles, I will end up with several wire ends that I have to connect to existing windings. Unlike the original winding that came from the factory that is made from one continuous length of wire. These six dots in the diagram represents the six wire ends that I end up after removing the old burned windings and prior to rewinding the two poles. Three of those wire ends solder directly to each of the three terminals. The other three wire ends are shown here, spliced and soldered, connected to existing wires of the stator. That is all of the rewinding part and it took me about 30 minutes to do so. I covered the splice ends of the wires with this heat resistant insulation. I then secured those loose ends with this heat resistant string made for motor windings. I tied the loose wire ends to make sure they do not touch the moving parts of the flywheel. I then coat everything with a good amount of varnish. All that is left now is to reinstall the stator to the bike and test it. More details of my CRF250L charging system repair can be found on my other video. You can find the link on the description so please check it out. After rewinding the stator, we are now getting about 50 volts AC from the alternator with the engine at idle. So my effort was a success. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope it helps.